Ladies and gentlemen, it is going down. Drop a thumbs down and let's it's check it out. It's been a couple of years since people started reporting seeing strange lights in the sky. In some of these cases, there was nothing mysterious about it, like in New York in 2018. Did you guys see this? Oh yeah, I remember that. The strange. I remember that it was started trending, but I I feel like it was to do something to do with the electricity. Apparently, that was the official response. The bright blue light in the sky was actually caused by a power surge. However, yeah, yeah. it wasn't always a power surge. Mm. In Spain, for instance, a very strange light was captured above the clouds. Yeah. The aliens, the Martians are here. A Mexican YouTuber who is living in Japan documenting his daily life there, who happened to capture a bizarre light in the sky that to this day no one knows what was causing it. <laughs> Curious yeah, he's about high, the mysterious bro. light, Leo rushed to his car in hopes to find a better angle to tape it and maybe try to find out what exactly was going on. Unfortunately, Leo wasn't able to find out what was happening, but this is not the type of light we see when there is a power surge or something. Yeah, like that. that's bizarre. It truly is. Whoa. And it's Sadiq, like beaming. YouTube channel was able to capture something very similar in Venezuela. Check this out. I, I've noticed uh, similar. This is basically almost the same in real life. While I was on a highway with my friends, right? Like, uh, but but it was a light. There was a light source that was hitting it from the from the ground to the clouds, and yeah, there, it could be similar, but. But when you look at it, it's bizarre. Definitely is. El cielo está parpadeando. Es como. Como estas. Como oh, una luz can, que estuviera. It's like a light that is blinking in the sky. Yeah. He cannot comprehend it. Es demasiado y esta hora de la noche. At this time of the night. Más fuerte. Pero yo voy a su voy a subir más y, y lo voy a grabar un poco más desde arriba. Sí. He climbs the hill just next to him in the attempt to find the source of this light. However, it appears to be coming from behind the cloud. What mysterious light is this? And have you ever seen anything like it? Yeah, I've seen it, but it was light the one, from the, the ground. It's the one time we can, we can actually get it there. <laughs> in the world that we live today, there are 1.4 billion cars and 76% oh, of people in the US drive their cars every day. So it's mm. very important for us when driving to pay attention to road signs and the weather. The thing is, sometimes it's not our lucky day. And this is yeah. exactly what happened to Adrian in Queensland, Australia. Uh, this oh, is what he captured on camera. <laughs> so he captured something? Wow. Eh, 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 eh. Holy! Oh. What? Uh, yeah, I've just, I've just crashed into a river, dude. Is he floating right now? Like, on, on water? Is he floating on water right now? There was that much water on the road? Um... Scared and in disbelief, the next thing Adrian does is climb to the top of his car and wait for help. Luckily, an hour later, Adrian was rescued and everything was okay. What most people noticed, however, he didn't know how to swim. That's crazy. I mean, not not making fun or anything like that. I'm not saying that in that aspect, but but like the car just that. So there was that much water, or maybe the road wasn't there. Like Bumbaka! maybe they forgot to put the maybe they forgot to update the road, something like that. Glitch in the matrix, boys. In this video, is that Adrian did pass by some signs, oh, and damn. some are saying that there was a warning that the area oh, yeah. was flooded. Do you see this? Has anything of this sort ever happened to you? He couldn't pump. He couldn't pump the brakes on time. This is why, guys, you 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 guys gotta upgrade your braking pads. You gotta upgrade your foots and whatnot. You gotta like break that fast, okay? Put. You gotta apply pressure fast, okay? The second you see that, just hundred percent. I remember watching the first Matrix movie and asking myself, "Is the Matrix real?" Now, the most plausible answer is probably not. However, there are... Uh, the Matrix got the, the homie Andrew Tate, though. ...are some unexplainable things that happened that really leaves us asking ourselves, Bruh. what the heck did just happen here? Yeah, and I guess God, this is exactly Lediosa. what happened to a security guard in Los Angeles what? when he... What? Two cars and both of them are going up like that? Nah, that's CG. I'm sure an unexplained event on camera. No f***ing way, bro. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
Nobody's supposed to be up there, bro. What the f you can't even see Did my face. guy Did my guy made that swallow sound like Did my guy made that sound? That's like Shaggy like or, or Scooby in that Scooby Doo, right? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> what the f What the f <laughs> Bro. The security guard first notices Bro. that there is supposed to be no one in the upper floor. However, this is when things take a turn and this person seems to start disappearing in front of his eyes. Holy Surprised smokes. by all this, the security guard tries to follow the person through the camera system. But does not. This is when the person completely disappears. Damn. It is nowhere to be seen. So what happened here? Was this a glitch in the matrix, a paranormal Probably. event or something else glitch in the take? matrix man glitch what in the, the matrix holy f is oh a ufo i'm videoing it that's a cigar i don't know UFO. about you but i am sometimes fascinated by the things that i see when i look up this last week for example a lot of people taped what appears to be a meteor shower yeah what the f is that that's meteor holy crap what the hell is that and despite the fact the, that the crazy thing is that like a lot of people don't even know that that's like bum, 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 bum. yeah our society our education system completely failed us all guys like you and me everybody combined uh, but but i'm not saying that because if you see that by your by your own uh by yourself with your own eyes it truly would be like crazy so i get that oh what the heck is that but that it looked like something out of a sci-fi movie it was just a re-entry of a rocket according to experts. But yeah. sometimes, it's experts. not a rocket, nor anything that we've ever experts. seen before. In Colombia, a family noticed a strange figure flying in the sky. When they realized that this figure was literally hovering there, it's not going up, it's not going down. Is that a man with a jetpack? Because that's the, the silhouette, that's what it looks like. They started taping it. This is what they've captured on camera. Or maybe not. It also kind of feels like a disc shaped saucer with like two legs hanging out, like two dongs, <laughs> something like that. Uh, especially when it lands, it's gonna land on those two dongs, something. It's going up. There you go, I found it. I'm gonna empty out one clip, guys, one sec. I was meaning to do that. Oh, my Mac fell. Pally was amazed by the fact that what appeared to be an object in the sky was actually a humanoid figure. Now, if this is indeed a human or anything like that, it's very difficult to say. Because of the fact that it seems to be stable, I would rather not say it's a balloon. Now, what's most intriguing is that in California... Yeah, I need to buy me, like, a toy RPG so I can go, like, POW! Sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I need that. I need that for the videos. In Markoville... A Drop a thumbs up, subscribe, so I can fund that. You guys can fund that by liking and subscribing, okay? I'll, I'll buy a fake uh, RPG. A similar object was captured on camera. Check this out. Oh damn! Yeah, my 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 babushka will not be able to hit it from that distance. That's far. Oh no, I cannot glance, hit that, guys. This does look like a humanoid figure flying in the sky. And there was actually a moment there. I thought this was one of those flying Bruh. machines that people yeah. are now using to fly from one place to another. Bro, like I saw one. I really like seriously want a jetpack. In this lifetime they already have it but i want like a convenient one where you can actually buy it Be i think you can buy it but it's like very expensive i love paramotor though i want to learn that because you can you can learn that and that's way cheaper than a pair uh than a jetpack and jetpacks are like they run out fast too so a paramotor you can still hang in the sky right however there is a moment there where this thing whatever it is seems to be turning and then you can actually see what appears to be wings giant wings now what is this? A dragon, a giant bird, a dinosaur, whatever. It pumped the brakes, I feel like. This creature or thing is, it's quite huge and very stable. What is your take? Probably, the probably woods a plane. can be a lovely... It doesn't look like a plane, but when you said wings, I'm like, can be a plane. But yeah, it does not look like a plane. A place to relax, and it can also be a very scary and dangerous place. Mm. The thing is, 
hundreds of people go into the woods to hunt, to relax, to do different things. And sometimes it doesn't go well, not yeah. as expected. Steve is a YouTuber who runs the facts by howtohunt.com on YouTube. His channel is quite interesting. He shares experiences, stories and advice on how to go hunting and camping and other things. It's a very interesting channel. However, there's one particular video where Steve talks about a friend who captured a chilling inhuman roar coming from the woods. Check this out. Inhuman roar? Is that something? Now keep in mind that the sound quality isn't that good because yeah. a friend of his sent this video through a Facebook message and Steve was unable for some reason to download it. So he had to tape the video with his phone. Even so, oh. we can get a glimpse of- Bruh, send it via email, man. Send it via email. And if it's too large, send it by VTransfer. I believe VTransfer is a website. Uh, I could be wrong. I haven't used that in a while, but that allows like two gigs free. And then you have to pay if it's above tw or 20 gigs. Was it 2 or 20? Okay, I don't remember, but we transfer. Google that. There are a lot of websites. Gmail. Google Drives. Google Drive. Oh, hell yeah. I use that. Google Drive is uh, free. It's reliable. It's fast. Of the size of this creature. Now, it doesn't sound like a bear or any other ordinary creature that I've ever heard of. So, I'm not sure what it could be. The thing is, this was taped in Fort Murray in Alberta, Canada. And there are several oh, supposed Canada. sightings of Bigfoot. Now, if this mm. is indeed a Bigfoot roar, or maybe something bigger, it's very difficult to say. Have you ever heard anything like this before? Uh, no. Now, witchcraft is something that exists for thousands of years. It began around 931 BC. Early witches were people who... You, you guys believe in black magic and witchcraft like that? Uh, in real life, ye or nay? One if yes, two if not. Practiced witchcraft, using magic spells and calling upon spirits for help or to bring about change. The thing is, witchcraft is very common in many countries. My guys, like, bruh. bruh. Yeah, I love when cats stand like that. And one of them is Mexico. On a dark road in South Mexico, a family oh, is inside their car, driving home, when they spot something strange, something that seems to be on fire. And apparently it's not on fire, it's like From people inside doing the car, something? The family can't exactly make out what this glowing thing is. They until turn the it off? That they actually encounter it. Bro, bro, bro! One sec, pause it, pause it. I want to pause it at a good moment. It's very difficult to affirm if this is a... Okay, like, what's... <clears throat> That's just glowing light. Is that fire? Like, woods fire? But nah, it seems kind of different. Witch encounter or anything like that. However, many people believe... It seems like a person standing this there. ...this to be some sort of demonic manifestation. What do you think? Is this the real deal or is this just a hoax? And if you have a similar story, do share under the comment section. Mm. There is a mighty good chance that at least once or twice in your lifetime you stumbled upon a creature that you could not recognize. The thing e is, e just in 2020 alone, 500 oh, new species were registered and documented. So I'll tell you this, man, our oceans are completely alien. Like, they, uh, they, they threw a number like 90% or some numbers like that. 90%. Okay, for now, hypothetically, let's just Bruh. stick with 90. It's somewhere close, somewhere around that. 90% of our, of our oceans are completely undiscovered. So surely there will be a lot of creatures that will come forward and we'll see them for the first time. So yeah, it's like not even a surprise to me. But what's surprising to me here is that... It is unexplored. 90% of it is unexplored. We're talking about going to the stars, to the moon, and uh, which is great. I'm all up for that. We, we should do that. Space space exploration is needed, and it's uh, I, I love that. I'm like definitely fascinated by all of that. But we also need to explore our oceans as well. It makes us wonder how many unknown and strange creatures roam this earth Bro. that we have no idea about. They had a cat face, but for a fish. Oi! Hey! Yeah, he's speaking Urdu, Hindi, I understand. <laughs> uh, basically, he, he's saying that, yeah, right here. Pai means brother. Bro, like right here. That's what he's saying. Bro, like right here. That's what he's saying. Bro, like right here. 
But the thing is, some he people have been lucky He's enough like... to capture some of these creatures on camera. Oh snap! For instance, yeah, yeah, yeah. in Norway, 110 miles west of Oslo, there is a lake where hundreds of people have captured on camera. You run that bag? What the hell was that? Yeah, that's like the most replayed because people want to know as well. Huh. Sorry guys, it's gonna be fast. It's gonna be fast. I'm gonna pause huh. it, okay? But the thing is, some people have been lucky enough to capture some. Okay. Of these creatures on camera. What's that? For instance, in Norway, 110 miles west of Oslo, there is a lake where hundreds of people have captured on camera a bizarre and huge creature swimming inside the lake. And the thing is, this creature is too big to be any known animal. So, what is it? So, like this thing? To this day, it is a big mystery. The creature mm. has been coined as Selma and compared to the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, dang. Yeah, yeah it, it reminds me of Scooby-Doo uh, Loch Ness Monster. I, I, I know. Bruh. I know. I know. Oh, what? Yeah, that is bizarre. But it doesn't stop there. In Russia, a YouTube channel by the name of Trevor Zop was able to capture a humanoid looking creature on camera. Humanoid? Oh, that is not Trevor good, Zop brother. Says that he heard strange noises coming from his barn late at night. He then decided to investigate what the heck was going on. Mm. It was when he entered the barn that he realized that yeah. there was something there. Hey. This is what he captured on camera. Capture on camera. What? Why you make a noise like that? Hey! Who? I think it's a monkey. Yeah, it's making noise. One sec. I'm not uh, okay, I'm gonna put the camera here because I know it's not gonna be here. Whatever it is that Trevor Zahn encountered inside his barn, it isn't human and it probably isn't any known animal and I believe that Trevor Zahn realized this as soon as he got there. Oh, this is he when helped. he started to interact with this creature and this is what happened. Oh damn. Oh, oh. No audio, no music. Oh, he threw... He threw stuff back. Oh, he's... <laughs> Woo! 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 Let me fire! Ow! 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 Let me, let me bark at the homie like that, bruh. Trevor okay, starts he's... throwing things and communicating with it in the intent of maybe drawing it out of the barn. However, this is not how things go. Oh, no, let's do it. Yeah, I need to He's taking icicles? He's gonna throw and eat that? Oh my god. Oh, you're go he's gonna see something. Both interactions were getting more aggressive. And this is when Trevor peeked into this window and captured what appears to be a humanoid looking creature. Uh oh. Uh oh. First we gotta see and then I gotta shoot. Okay, you see that face? At that moment, Trevor didn't notice, but he was able to capture it a second time, looking straight back at him. Oh, damn, son. Really hard to make out. Very. After the video went viral, many people left comments oh, on Trevor's yeah. channel. Some saying that this was a possibly young Bigfoot, and others saying that they've Long. heard similar things in the forest. Bruh. Bruh. Like young Bruh. Bigfoot. Bruh. <laughs> Sounds funny, but but listen, man, it's a possibility though. Bruh. However, it's difficult to say if this is the real thing or not. What do you think? During the evening or at night, many people enjoy watching a movie, reading a book, doing something relaxing. Well, it's not the case with Nightlife Adventures YouTube channel in Saudi Arabia. Of course, Their night at Habibi, yeah, yeah, Habibi, yeah, Habibi. Activity is hunting ghosts, jinns, and paranormal events. 
Bruh, the thing is, gonna be there crazy. is a particular video where they find a cave and his spiritual guide believes that a jinn inhabits this place. This is what they captured on camera. Habibi, yeah, yalla Habibi. Yo, Habibi never afraid of that, man. Yo, these Arab ghost hunters, they go crazy. I got a bunch of Arab ghost hunting videos on the channel, guys. Definitely. At first, his spiritual guide is having difficulties. Uh, once you're done watching this video, go around the videos and search Arab ghost hunters, something like that, and you're going to find it. It's uh, And I'll try and link it in the end screen as well. Getting access into the cave. It takes a few minutes until they actually go in. They go crazy, man. At first, the cave seems to be tight and they struggle to go forward, but they're successful at their mission and they continue on further into the cave when his spiritual guide encounters something unexpected. Man, would you? Why would you go inside like that? Uh, I'm Muslim, so I know what they're saying. They're they're praying, so yeah. Bismillah, brother. They go even deeper into the cave. The spiritual guide is convinced that there is something, maybe a jinn, living inside of it. The thing is, jinns can manifest themselves in many different forms, and I guess they were not expecting what happened next. Check it's like shape, out. it's like shape shifters, kind of, right? Oh damn, son! I think it's getting serious, boys, because when you start praying like that, it's serious. <laughs> <laughs> now 20 minutes deeper into the cave, his spiritual guide believes this is where the jinn lives. Now even if they didn't spot a jinn, it would be a very dangerous thing to do because they're yeah. 20 minutes into a cave where they could be bitten by a creature, a scorpion or a spider maybe. You're like really risking your life, man. However, this is not what happens. They actually capture something else on camera. Oh snap! Okay. Man. Now whatever oh, he caught fire. Is, it could be a jinn. He caught However, fire. It's very difficult to say that this is the real deal. It could be just a hoax. What do you think? That fire came out of nowhere! If there's one mysterious creature that was very much more common in the past than today, that- Yo, so we're not gonna talk about the fire? Bumbaka! A duende or a gnome. In today's movies, duendes or gnomes are featured as a bad thing. However, in many cultures, they were seen as a good creature of the forest. The thing is, there is very little evidence. That's the media, man. They always trying to, they always trying to brainwash you with some bull squash, right? They will make you believe certain certain things that don't exist, and they will make you believe that certain things are bad that might not be. That Duane days actually exist. There are quite a few videos out there of people who were able to capture this strange creature on camera. Yeah. And it is the case with this family in Brazil who said there was strange noises coming from their farm when they noticed that chicken and small animals started to disappear. <laughs> Man. They then decided to install a camera in their window and this is what they captured. Oh damn son. Damn son. We got doggos barking. Oh snap. What's that? I think you, it's saw in red. Belief and scared. The Monkey? person who is taping rapidly closes the window door and the door itself. And I guess I would do the same if I were ever to spot something like this in my backyard. This kinda does not like, look like your usual. Kind of looks like a monkey t uh, and kind of have a tiger face Bruh. too. Oh, gnome or duende. It could be something else. What is your take? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, this is it for today, but we do have more videos. Ladies and gentlemen, check these videos out on the screen. Click this video on the screen or the left one. I will try and link that another Arab Ghost Hunter video. So check it out and I will see you right there.